Hello and welcome to Teacher Rahullah's channel. In this video, I'm going to work on question 5 of part 3 of unit 3, which is on page 50 of the book. And this unit is about adding and subtracting dollars and cents. In part A of this question, it says, Jamila buys a coffee, a soda, and a milkshake with $10. How much does she spend? And how much change will she get? To find out how much she spends, we have to add the prices of the items that Jamila is going to buy. So the first item that she is going to buy is coffee and its price is $3. So I will write $3 here. And the second one is soda. The price of soda is $1.10. So I will write $1.10. And 10 cent I will use decimal point and the last one is milkshake the price of milkshake is three dollars and 25 cent now to add this amount I will give a decimal point and two placeholder zeros for three dollars so that I should easily add them so zero plus zero plus five is five zero plus one plus two is three we bring down the decimal point three plus one plus three is seven so the amount that she pays is seven dollar and 35 cent now to find how much change she gets back we have to subtract seven dollar and 35 cent from ten dollars so i will write ten dollar minus seven dollar and 35 cent now to easily subtract seven dollar and 35 cent from ten dollar i will give a decimal point and two placeholder zeros to the right of ten dollar now i can easily subtract so we cannot subtract 35 cent from zero cents we have to borrow from ten dollar if we borrow nine dollar will be left here and 100 cent we have over here because one dollar is equal to 100 cent. Now 100 cent minus 35 cent will be 65 cent. We bring down the decimal point. Nine dollar minus seven dollar will give us two dollars. So the amount that she gets back as change is two dollar and 65 cent. In part B of this question, it says, Liam has five dollars to spend on two drinks. He does not like coffee, so we can cross coffee because he does not want coffee. What could he buy? What change would he get? Now we have to consider that Liam has five dollars. We should buy him the items that do not exceed five dollars. So if he choose one of the items T, so T is $2. The price of the second item should be an amount that does not exceed $5 when added by 2. So milkshake cannot be in the list because if we add $2 and $3 and 25 cents, we will get more than $5. If he buys orange juice, the amount will not exceed $5. So the price for the orange juice is $2 and 20 cents. Again, to easily add it, I give a decimal point and two placeholder zeros here. Now, zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus two is two. Bring down the decimal point. Two plus two is four. So the amount that he spends is four dollar and twenty cent if he buys an orange juice and tea. Now it says how much change will he get? To find how much change he gets back. We have to subtract $4.20 from $5. So $5 minus $4.20. Again, to easily subtract, we have to give a decimal point and two placeholder zeros to the right of 5. 20 cent cannot be subtracted from 0 cent. We borrow from 5. $4 will be left here. And we will have $100 over here. We know that $1 is equal to 100 cent. So 100 cent minus 20 cent will be equal to 
80 cent and four dollar minus four dollar will be zero dollar so the amount that he gets back as change will be 80 cent or we can say zero dollar and 80 cent this is all about question five of this part i hope it helps you learn how to add and subtract dollars and cent and also learn how to regroup the amount from dollars to cents if you still have any question you can ask me in the comment section under this video and please make sure to subscribe to my channel like the videos and share the videos with your friends and if you are a teacher share it with your students as well have a nice time and thank you so much